Dubai is home to many unique engineering feats such as the Burj Khalifa, the Dubai Canal, and the Burj Al Arab. But there are many more amazing things to see and do in this luxurious city that you won't find anywhere else. From the most dashing law enforcement vehicles you'll ever see to a super bizarre race where robots and camels are involved, here are 20 things that can't be seen anywhere else but in Dubai. Number 20. Only in Dubai. Experience the world's longest urban zip line. Dubai tourism has grown far beyond luxury tours and shopping. Those who are lucky enough to pass by this crazy place can now ride the X-Line, the longest urban zip line in the world. With one kilometer in length, the X-Line isn't only the longest urban zip line, but the fastest too. At 80 kilometers an hour, 170 meters above the ground, and with an incline of 16 degrees, this is an experience for the very brave only. The tour departs from the Amwaj Towers, passes through the marina to reach the Dubai Marina Mall. The Princess Tower and Cayenne Towers can be seen from above. It's a fun activity that allows visitors to see the famous Dubai skyline from the sky. The package for one person costs 650 dirham, about $178, and the group package can reach twice that. The X-Line follows the footsteps of the previous original zip line, which launched in late 2015 at the Dubai Mall over the iconic Dubai Fountain. But with this new version, they really went all in, doubling in length and offering duos or couples the ability to experience the treat together with two concurrently running zip lines. You can literally film each other flying through the Dubai skyscrapers. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. We all know there are insanely rich people in Dubai. That's no secret. But I bet you didn't know about this one man that is so rich that he literally built himself an entire ecosystem. This man is a fanatic of two things, marine life and trains. So he decided to put his two passions together. He built a pool so big that it's now its own ecosystem with even a new shark species that doesn't exist in the wild. And why not build an underwater train for sightseeing? Anything is possible when you are a multi-billionaire. The train you're seeing in this image is real life size. That should put into perspective just how massive this pool is. And and to make things even more absurd, if this is the size of the pool, just imagine how big the house is. Since this photo is surfaced on the internet, hundreds of marine biologists have been requesting a visit to the pool to study the new shark species. But the rich man is incredibly secretive, and nobody knows who he is or where exactly he lives. Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Abandoned Supercars in Dubai It's a surprising phenomenon. Thousands of luxury cars are abandoned by their owners in Dubai every year. The Gulf countries are often associated with images of opulence where there are many luxury real estate and sports cars, a wealth that they owe mainly to the oil-based economy, but also to many local businesses and industries. But then, how come so many luxury cars and supercars are abandoned in the desert covered in sand? Well, the answer to this mystery lies in the fact that in the country, the law is based on Islamic Sharia, and the concept of bankruptcy does not exist. Failure to pay is therefore considered a crime punishable by prison. It's a zero-tolerance policy that surprises many expatriates, who represent more than 90% of the country's population. Uh, 
They go to Dubai to make their fortune, and among them, some fail and end up going bankrupt. They then find themselves faced with the cost of living or the loss of a job, and no longer have the means to pay the rents of a car bought on credit or on a lease, or even their other debts related to real estate. If the payment of the invoices is not honored, the bad payer will sooner or later be arrested and risk heavy penalties up to and including prison. The people concerned prefer to flee the United Arab Emirates, leaving all their possessions behind, including their luxury cars, rather than staying put and facing such a severe court decision. Number 18. Get a Massage with Lava Shells Aside from the mega luxury houses and cars, Dubai is also a pioneer in the pampering business. Massages, that is. The latest launch is the Lava Shells Massage at Sisters Beauty Lounge. And it's a technique that is sweeping the globe. But what is it exactly? Well, it involves two tiger-striped clamshells that are self-heating. They're used to loosen and relax your muscles and trigger pressure points that leave you feeling brand new. The heat of the lava shells helps unwind the muscles and relax the joints for easier manipulation of the body. They also help penetrate tissue easily, which improves mobility and health. This unique massage relieves the body of sore and tired muscles, improving blood circulation, which promotes removal of toxins from cells. It does it all! But on top of that, which is already not bad, the lava shells are eco-friendly. They are naturally self-heating massage tools, which by definition do not need supplementary electricity to heat up, like hot stones, for instance. Lava shells only use a natural mineral heat with the help of lava gel, which is a blend of natural minerals, sea kelp, and algae. The gel is mixed with seawater and inserted into the shell. This generates heat that can last for up to two hours. Number 17. Policemen with Flying Motorcycles after the presentation of a prototype in 2017, police have started training with their new intervention device, a flying motorcycle, which looks like a drone capable of flying 5 meters above the ground. This flying hover bike will equip two teams of police officers from the Emirate. Its mission is to intervene in the event of an emergency in a totally congested area of the city or hard-to-reach areas, track suspects, patrol tourist destinations, and to monitor traffic. The flying motorcycle takes takes off on the spot like a helicopter thanks to four propellers. Its weight is only 114 kilograms, to which, of course, must be added that of the policeman. With a capped max speed of just over 70 kilometers per hour, it can stay in the air for a very short time, just 25 minutes. At drone mode, with no one on the handlebars, but with a pilot behind the remote control, it can last 40 minutes in flight. It is therefore limited to very rapid interventions. The police officers who are the interesting candidates to pilot this machine are those who know how to ride a motorcycle and pilot a drone. Above all, the Dubai police has acquired exclusive rights to purchase these flying motorcycles. Each hover bike is worth $150,000 or around 130,000 euros. In the United States, these motorcycles have been approved by the Federal Aviation Administration. Number 16. Emirates Swarovski Style Plane Emirates is Dubai's flagship airline that stands out for its luxury, but this is simply unbelievable. The airline posted on its Instagram account an image of an ostentatious Boeing 777 covered in diamonds from end to end. The company renamed the plane Bling 777 in reference to the aesthetic fashion used in hip-hop culture, according to which various rappers dress in luxurious and shiny jewelry. The jazzed-up Boeing is shown parked at a terminal in an airport surrounded by luggage trucks and glittering in the sunset. A beautiful sight. The photo of the ostentatious plane covered in crystals and diamonds received more than 385,000 likes on the company's Instagram account, with several comments wondering if the craft was real. Alas, it's not. The image is the work of Sarah Shaquille, a former dentist who now works as a crystal artist. Shaquille posted her dazzling creation on Tuesday, and it turns out that Emirates liked the image so much that the airline asked permission to post it, and in return, upgraded her flight from Pakistan to Milan. The artist creates her works by manipulating pictures or photos of any kind, from people to ordinary objects. She adds sparkle to every image she takes. Number 15. Gold Bars 
from Vending Machine. If you think vending machines only hold chips, candies, and sodas, or even a few healthier items like fruit, think again. The Gold To Go Machine, the world's first gold bar vending machine, has been unveiled at Emirate Palace in Dubai. Seeing as this is no ordinary vending machine, it is guarded by armed guards all day, and rightly so. This glittering ATM spits out 24 karat gold in 320 different forms. Gold bars, coins, and even jewelry. You can also buy six gold coins of varied weights and engraved with symbols of different gold-producing nations, such as Canada, Australia, or South Africa. About 175 dirham will get you a 1 gram bar, 760 dirham a 5 gram bar, and 4,645 dirham an ounce bar, and all with the easiness of buying a bag of chips. The purpose of such machines is to bring gold to the public, well, to those who can afford it, that is. But buying gold is still a very controlled operation. Even even in the form of a vending machine. The gold to go is heavily protected by a range of security measures, which includes a cutting-edge anti-money laundering software. The machine also tracks the price of gold on fluctuating markets with an inbuilt website that transmits information over 10 seconds and updates the price every 10 minutes. Number 14. 24 Karat Gold Facial Treatment Speaking of gold, why only buy it from a vending machine? Why not also put it on your face as a beauty treatment? Yeah, in fact, you can literally get a gold facial in Dubai, and it consists of exactly what it sounds like. They place very thin sheets of 24 karat gold on your face. They claim that the gold has instant healing properties and that it brings out a radiance, glow, and polished skin. Now, of course, this luxurious treatment doesn't come at a cheap price, considering they use real gold. Gold. You can have your skin look as expensive as it has ever looked before for the swift price of 25,000 dirhams, which is the equivalent of $6,806, more or less. Although, for a price so steep, this facial mask better make miracles. And that is exactly what they claim it does, including reducing the effect of aging, which seems to be the number one worry of the beauty industry these days. So, if you can afford it and you want to glimmer and stay young for longer, now you know where to go. Number 13. Golden Desserts well, it would seem that buying it from a vending machine and putting it on your face isn't enough for Emiratis. They also need to eat gold. They just can't get enough gold by the looks of it, because why shouldn't they make food also a luxury? In Dubai, you can eat actual dishes with edible 24 karat gold. You can find different things like burgers, ice cream, cappuccinos, chocolates, and even samosas that have received the Midas touch. For those wondering, gold is safe to consume. In fact, some doctors prescribe it as a medicine for some deficiencies. Now, of course, don't go trying to bite into your mom's jewelry just yet. Not all gold is edible. For this precious metal to be edible, it must be between 23 and 24 carats, and it is then either grounded into a powder or a glitter like dust, or pounded into extremely thin sheets. Your necklace or rings likely contain too many metal impurities for it to be safe to consume. Also, gold is flavorless, so it's not really a spice added to the dish, but rather eye candy, if you will. Number 12. Free food for people who can't afford it. It shouldn't come as a surprise to learn that not everybody in Dubai is filthy rich. There are normal people too, and even poor people. But thanks to Fadi Ayad, the 39-year-old who is the owner of Fal W Hummus, a chain of restaurants in Dubai, even those with difficult monetary situations can have a hot and nutritious meal. With a sign that reads, if you can't buy food, it's free, this is a gift from Allah, God, in the entrance, this restaurant doesn't turn down anybody, not even those who can't pay. Fal W Hummus has a number of branches in Dubai and Sharjah, and every single one of them offers the same generous gift for those in need. Ayad, who is originally from Jordan, is determined to give food to people who need it most, those who don't have jobs and need support. The restaurant serves a variety of types of hummus and fowl, as the name suggests, and it is reasonably priced. Apparently, they feed people in need every day, and they can go in at any time. But the philosophy of this place wasn't always this philanthropic. They opened the restaurant for financial profit, but along the way, Ayad realized that the moral and human benefit are much more important to him, and now he considers helping people a real success. 
Number 11. The Driverless Taxi If Dubai doesn't sound like a super fun destination to visit, maybe the idea of hailing driverless taxis around the city streets will seduce you. Recently, a testing model of the all-electric self-driving vehicle was on display at Gatex Global 2022. This amazing taxi was built on the Chevrolet Bolt platform, no less. So how does it work? Well, simple. Atop the flashy red and white hatchback car is an array of cameras, which serve as the driver, so to speak. The cameras recognize the size, shape, and color of the objects nearby or on the road, and there's also an inbuilt radar that provides a 360-degree view. But for those who don't have thousands of dollars to spend on a trip, don't worry. This driverless taxi is actually fairly affordable. The fare will be similar to that of a limousine service in Dubai. Starting December 2020, five of these futuristic vehicles will be roaming the roads to do the final testing necessary and also to complete the mapping services. The final taxi will have four seats at the back facing each other. If all goes to plan, Dubai will be the first city to operate cruise autonomous vehicles outside the United States. Number 10. Largest Suspended Aquariums in the World this 10 million liter aquarium tank, which can be admired on the ground level of the Dubai Mall, is one of the largest suspended aquariums in the whole world. This colossal aquarium is home to thousands of aquatic creatures, comprising over 140 different species. There are over 300 sharks and rays in the tank, as well as one of the largest populations in captivity of sand sharks in the world. The tank measures 51 meters in length, 20 meters in width, and 11 meters in height. Thanks to its sheer size, there are many different ways that a visitor can experience the aquarium. You can walk through the 48-meter tunnel that provides a spectacular 270-degree view from 11 meters below the surface of the tank, or maybe you feel more inclined to go in a glass-bottom boat ride, which gives you a crystal-clear view of the marine life below your feet. Because that's how big this aquarium is. You can drive a boat through it. Or maybe you feel a little bit more adventurous and you want to brave a dip in the tank for a shark encounter experience. For those who opt for the diving service, this is a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Only here in Dubai can you get within inches of such a large variety of sharks and rays. Number 9. Underwater Suite the Neptune Suite in the Atlantis Hotel is one of the most spectacular and whimsical places you'll be able to find at a hotel. This room, simply put, is stunning. It's also one of the world's best and most luxurious underwater hotel suites. You'll have to remind yourself that you're not dreaming if you're ever lucky enough to visit it. The Atlantis Hotel is located at the end of the iconic Dubai Palm, and it comes with easy access to the city thanks to the hotel's monorail. The hotel is very luxurious, no doubt about that, with all the amenities you could ever think of and amazing features. For instance, there's a private beach and even a water park. But the Neptune Suites in particular are some of the most exclusive in the entire world. From the outside, it looks like any other room, but when you go down the marble staircase, that's when the magic starts. You suddenly find yourself in a wonderful world of ocean-themed luxury. Once you're downstairs, there's a massive underwater living room from where you can see fish calmly swimming by the windows. The top floor is above water, so you still get all the daylight you could hope for. They thought of every single detail. Number 8. Heart-Shaped Love Lakes a few years ago, after the iconic Dubai Palm, another bizarre artificial creation was unveiled in Dubai. A lake in the shape of two intertwined hearts and the word love in the middle of the desert in Al Qadra. The Love Lake, as it's been known since its inauguration in November 2018, is so large that it can be seen from Google Maps satellites and in fascinating aerial photos made by drones like the one you can see on this video. Even Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Crown Prince 
Kings of Dubai has published a picture of this lake on his Instagram account. From this phenomenal publicity from the Sheikh, the man-made lagoon has seen the number of visitors increase exponentially. It is the perfect destination for a romantic day with your partner. You can either get a bird's eye view from a helicopter or enjoy the Love Lake from ground level and take a dip in the intertwined hearts. This romantic scene is created with over 16,000 trees and thousands more flowers, all carefully selected to survive in the arid desert climate. Can you guess how many marriage proposals have taken place here? I'm thinking hundreds. Number 7. A Nature-Inspired Mall a pioneer shopping destination is a new trend in family entertainment, where ecological preservation, sustainable design, and interaction with nature are present everywhere thanks to the fact that in its center there is an extensive outdoor garden of 200,000 square feet called Central Park, which highlights the varied biodiversity of nature through unique attractions. Do you already know what place we're talking about? Yes, it is the Cityland Mall. Cityland Mall is by far one of the largest shopping malls in the world, with some 1.2 million square feet. This mega project has won various accolades, including most anticipated opening of 2018 Dubai, United Arab Emirates United Cityland Mall at the 13th edition of Global Retail, and Leisure International at the Natural History Museum in London, United Kingdom. It is nothing less than the world's first shopping destination inspired by nature. The landscaping of this shopping center is one of the central points of the project, since it provides a unique sensory experience for shoppers and has been designed to accommodate 7,000 people at a time. Miracle Garden Landscaping is the company behind this world-class landscaping project. Just to mention a few other feats they're responsible for, they also did the Dubai Miracle Garden and Dubai Butterfly Garden. Number 6. Chill Out Ice Lounge as you all know, Dubai is in a desert, and like all other deserts, it's insanely hot and dry there. But if you ever find yourself in this corner of the woods and you miss the good winter weather, don't you worry. There's a very cold and humid place in Dubai, and it's called the Chill Out Ice Lounge. This place is not just refreshing, it is hands down freezing. No joke, you'll need sky gear if you don't want to get frostbite. If you didn't think to pack your puffy jacket to go to Dubai, and I mean, who would, right? Don't worry, they can lend you one at the entrance. Chill Out Lounge is the first ice lounge in the Middle East and features sculptures and seating areas made of solid ice. With its ceiling covered in icy stalactites, this place is hidden on the first floor of the Times Square Center Shopping Center and is an unexpected frozen oasis that reaches temperatures as low as negative 6 degrees Celsius, when outside it's already difficult for the thermometer to drop below the 40s. If you miss enjoying a delicious hot chocolate in Christmas weather, this is the perfect place for you. Number 5. Golden Toilet Paper Neither creams, nor masks, nor any other beauty product based on gold, the true luxury in the most exclusive bathrooms is, apparently, this toilet paper, which is, of course, the most expensive toilet paper in the world. The Australian company Toilet Paper Man, creator and seller of this unique product, ensures that it is completely safe to use in your most sensitive areas. Specifically, the three-ply toilet paper roll is made with 22 karat gold and costs 1,654,335 Australian dollars, about 1,127,608 euros in its online store. But we're in luck. Now it's been reduced to 1,558,335 Australian dollars, which is just a little over a million euros. It is certainly the most expensive toilet roll in the world. According to the creators of this knickknack, when using this toilet paper, nuggets of gold will fall to the floor of your bathroom and your butt will be transported to another dimension. When you buy this item, the company delivers it to your home gift wrapped and with a bottle of champagne, maybe intended to facilitate intestinal transit. There are very few people who can spend a million euros on such a luxurious item, and of those few, there are even less that would actually do it. Number 4. Rehabilitation Project 
Contrary to popular belief, Dubai is not only luxury cars and real estate, as this wonderful place proves. The Arabian Gulf is riddled with sea turtles. These captivating and vital creatures thrive in warm, tropical waters, which is why they are so happy in Dubai. Alas, these cute marine animals face all sorts of horrific threats. Hunting, pollution, boat strikes, and coastal development are just but a few. Enter the Dubai Turtle Rehabilitation Project. A place where turtles are rescued, rehabilitated, and then released back to the sea. Located at Jumeirah Al Nassim, this is where hundreds of turtles get a second chance at life thanks to the good work of the staff. They work tirelessly so that the seven species of marine turtles, all of which are listed as critically endangered, by the way, find a way of surviving all the obstacles posed by humans. In the center, the turtles have a state-of-the-art lagoon to live in until they are healthy enough to face the wild once more. It is a gulf-fed lagoon that provides a natural habitat for them to recover in. Most of the turtles here are brought by members of the public, usually after finding them washed up on the beach. Number 3. The Palm Jumeirah can be seen from space. The Palm Jumeirah is the smallest yet the most iconic of a set of three artificial palm-shaped islands known as the Palm Islands. It's located on the coastal area of Jumeirah in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and is, along with the other palms, one of the largest artificial islands created by man. The Palm Jumeirah is built in the shape of a date palm tree and consists of three parts, a trunk, a crown with 17 fronds, and a surrounding crescent island that forms a wave breaker. The island has eight fronds on each side and a very small one on top. In these, there are only various villas and small residences, which have swimming pools and private beaches. In the upper part and connecting the fronds with the crescent, there is an underwater tunnel, which will become a safe and new attraction since very few tunnels today pass underwater. But the million dollar question is, can it really be seen from space? The answer is yes. A Russian space engineer, Oleg Artemiev, has posted many pictures of the Palm Jumeirah from space, and they are probably the most liked photos he has posted. Number 2. Robot Camel Jockeys Yeah, this sounds bananas, we know, but it's a real thing. Not only that, but in Dubai, robot camel jockey races are the sport of the shakes, no less. It's the people's game of the future. Forget about football or baseball, this is the new working man's game. This bizarre parody of horse racing consists of camels racing, but instead of having jockeys on top of them, they have robots. Yeah, robots for jockeys. You're not hallucinating and nobody spiked your coffee. In Dubai, camel racing is older than the hills, but we reckon that the robot part is presumably less old than the hills. The little colorful robots sit perched on top of the camels with a mechanical whip of some kind to encourage the animals to cross that finish line. Before 2004, they used children instead of robots to ride the camels, but since human rights arrived in Dubai, or at least they care more for appearances now, they've swapped the kids for machines. You know, as you do. In any case, this is a very interesting event to witness, although a little strange, too. Number 1. Luxury Police Cars The Dubai Police is the envy of all law enforcement agencies around the world. From the famous Bugatti Veyron to the cheek Ferrari FF or the Lamborghini Aventador, Dubai police cars are certainly impressive, to say the least. Luxury supercars for Dubai police seem too good to be true, but it fits perfectly with the philosophy of Dubai. Law enforcement in the Emirate works to keep the peace and ensure the safety of tourists and residents. This security factor is essential to attract the best companies and the best talents in the world to work and live in the Emirates. So why not do it in style? In addition to ensuring the safety of residents and tourists, Dubai police have built a reputation for friendliness and justice. It's common for tourists to call the Dubai police hotline and ask where they can view and take pictures with Dubai police cars. The role of the fleet is to break down the barriers between the police and the public and to show tourists how friendly the police are in Dubai. Some people think that this is probably as a response of people being a little bit afraid of the harsh laws in the country. As you can see, there are many different fascinating things to see or do in Dubai.
Out of all the cool stuff on this list, which one would you love to experience above the rest? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.